plug in alliance offer lots of stuff but what's the best let's find out before starting i want to remember that everything i say is just my honest opinion I'm not here to trick you saying what companies would like me to tell you. Unfortunately, this is very, very rare even in our field. You know, it's easier to get money from companies faking review instead to being honest and hoping for some appreciation. So if you like it and you appreciate that, you can find the links in the description. Today, I want to show you what I think is the best from them. They offer lots of good stuff, uh, lots of EQ, lots of compressor, but most of them is something you don't really need, even if they are good. You cannot buy and use everything, so I want to put a focus on what, in my opinion, it really worth it. If you are kinda new, I strongly suggest you to wait for sales, cause even plugins that are very high priced drops into a $30 category so spare your money to sales. Let's start with MC77. This is just not a very good 1176 emulation, but in my opinion is the best one. It was on every vocal tracks I worked since I bought it. I think it makes an awesome job in both dynamics and colors. The workflow is very good and straightforward. I also like the sidechain filter and the option to unlink left and right. Metric AB is a very good tool to make comparisons between different mixes of your own music along with famous songs. A tool like that is very very useful during mixing but mostly while mastering. You have not just the ability to switch between mixes but you can also find valuable information such loudness, you can check the spectrum along other important stuff that will help you to make better decisions. Crispy Tuner is a very good autotune alternative, it sounds very good and can also be very aggressive if needed. And uh, this is something you want if you work with sound genre like trap and rap, that like that kind of effect. You can also use it with more conservative settings to apply a more natural correction. Kirchhoff EQ is a very good and complete EQ. You can do and achieve everything. The main differences from other digital EQs is the ability to set famous curves, but if you want to know more, I made a review of this plugin. I'll leave you the link up here. Mag EQ4 is a little nice EQ. You can use it almost everywhere. There is not too much to say cause it's just a simple EQ. Anyway, the air band is kinda famous, so you may find that vibe in famous song. Kiva Audio Extressor is a very good distressor plugin. I like the sound and the workflow. I also made a dedicated video by that one, so you may want to check it. Then we have Bax EQ, it's a simple but good 2-band shelf EQ for low and high frequencies. If you're looking for something like that, it may worth a try. Last but not least, we have Soma, another EQ. When I tried, I like this one a lot. I find it very musical. If you want to know more, guess what? You can watch it up here. If you like this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe and Guess what? Enable notifications too. I know someone may say where black box is, and my replay is pretty easy. I don't think that saturator worth it. It doesn't do anything more than other more capable saturator, and in my opinion, it's really overrated. I've bought it and I tried to use it on different mixes along different genre and I always found Saturn 2 or Ozone Exciter to do a better job no matter what. And believe me, when you buy something, you want this new toy to be a beast. So I really tried to find some special duty for that one, but these are my best pick from Plugin Alliance. Let me know your favorites and why. See you in the next one. Ciao.